This video will demonstrate how to take an exam using the RPNOW Student LTI tool. The tool makes it easy to access your remote proctored exam directly from Canvas. First, log into MyASU and locate your course. You will then need to click on your Student LTI tool. In most courses, the link will be labeled RPNOW for Students and will be located in the left navigation pane. But your instructor can post this anywhere. If you cannot locate the Student LTI tool, contact your instructor. Select the exam you'll be taking and choose Begin. Confirm your name, email, and ASU Write ID, which should auto-populate into the appropriate boxes. You can copy your ASU Write ID to save time later by clicking the orange box. You will be taken to the RPNOW installation page where you will choose Download Software. You will need to do this each and every time you take an RPNOW exam. Locate your download, then save and run the program. The license agreement will populate. Please read through this agreement and accept this agreement to proceed. The microphone check will automatically populate. You will need to speak out loud in order to pass. After passing the microphone check, click OK. Please remember, if you need any assistance while using RPNOW, you can always click the Contact Support button located at the top of the screen and get assistance via chat directly from the ASU Help Desk. Type your ASU Write ID or click the green button to paste your ASU Write ID if you click the orange button to copy previously and select Take My Exam. Confirm the exam you are taking and select Next. You can also change your selection by choosing Search for another exam. If you receive a User Not Found message, first ensure that your ASU Write ID is correct and try again. If this does not work, click Manual Entry and enter your information. Choose your course and exams from the drop-downs and enter your ASU Write ID. First-time users will need to register their name, ID, and email. You will not be prompted to do this for future exams. It's important to note that the name that you provide us must match the name that is listed on your ASU ID exactly. The RPNOW Advisory page will then launch. Please read through the prompt carefully as it explains the rules for the exam. RPNOW will then launch a page which will give you the option to close any prohibited processes. You will then be prompted to take a picture of your photo ID. If the picture is unclear, you're able to retake the photo. Make sure we can see your picture and that the name on the ID is readable. When you can confirm this, check the box below. Then click Confirm ID Photo. Next, you'll need to complete a room scan. Click Start Room Scan and move your web camera to show us your desk area, floor, and the walls around you. Make sure you pan the entire area. Once the scan is submitted, you'll have to review the entire video before you can check the box and confirm the scan. Again, you'll always have the option to retake this video. You will then be prompted to take a clear user photo to compare with your photo ID. Once this is completed, you will have 10 minutes to start the exam. You will then be asked to use dual authentication if this is required for your exam. Log in with your ASU Write credentials, then load the course. Do not click RPNOW for students again as you've already completed this step. Instead, you should click the link to access your test or testing site. Once you've selected your exam, you'll be prompted for an access code. 
you will not be told in advance what the access code is. Click the Insert Access Code button at the top of the window to populate the code. You can then click Submit and take the exam. After finishing the exam, click the button to submit your answers. It's important to note that RP Now will continue to record after you've submitted your answers until you select Close and confirm you'd like to exit the exam. Thank you for watching our tutorial and good luck on your exam!